Hi everyone, Adam here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about NATS. NATS is a cloud native computing foundation or CNCF incubating project. An incubating project is the middle of three tiers. So sandbox, incubating and graduated. Basically what that means is NATS or incubating projects have a an established security protocol. So if you discover a security vulnerability or an issue in the project, they have a mechanism that you can report that. It also means that there are commits or contributions coming from a variety of people, not just one person, not just one project um, or one company, but there is a, a wide variety of, of voices out there. So all of that means that the project NATS or incubating projects in general should not um, just disappear. They should have quite a nice long shelf life. They should be fairly stable at incubating stage. So what is NATS? NATS describes itself as message-oriented middleware. What that means is when you have two computer systems, system A and system B, they need to send messages to each other or information. Now, I don't mean messages as Facebook messages or WhatsApp. I just mean discrete bundles of data. So system A needs to send something to system B. NAT sits in the middle and enables that communication. It does so based on subjects. So a publisher will publish a message to a particular subject, and then one or more systems can listen for that on that subject um, and receive those messages. In the hands-on, you will install NATS on a Kubernetes cluster. You will then publish a message to a test subject, and we will have another uh, consumer listening for messages on that test subject. You will then go on and create two new subjects, names.dog and names.cat, and publish a message on names.dog, basically to show that none of the other uh, consumers receive that message. There's only one um, person receiving that message who is listening for names.dog. So the link to the hands-on demonstration will be below. I'm not going to directly link to the hands-on. You need to go via my website. The reason is when this video is published, I'm going to donate the hands-on to NATS. So if NATS decide to adopt the hands-on project, the link will change. So the easiest way is basically go to the, the, the main page uh, that I've linked to below on my website. That will always contain this video and also the latest and greatest link wherever it, it ends up. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found Nats the project useful, uh, and I hope you adopt it. So remember, I do one of these each week. I pick a different open source project. So hit the subscribe button to get notified for any new projects as soon as they come out. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.